Hey, what's going on? Luke here. We are into round 24 of the 2021 NRL season, and there is a big clash this week. Now, it's not really a clash in the sense of, like, importance to the league or anything, and by that, I mean both sides aren't number one or two or anything like that, but this is a traditional rivalry game. This is the South Sydney Rabbitohs taking on the Sydney Roosters, and no matter how both teams are traveling, and mind you, both teams are actually going pretty well. Obviously, the Roosters have a lot of injuries, and the Rabbitohs, they've been hot and cold throughout this season. Mostly hot, but they have had some cold moments for sure, but make no mistake, this will be a big, big clash, and that's why we're going to be playing it on Rabbit League Live 4. I'm going to be playing with the Roosters. I feel like I haven't used them very often. And when I did use them, I was using the full strength one with your Brett Morris's, your boy Gorners, your Jake Friends and such. This time we're going to be playing with the injury riddled Roosters. The baby Roosters, maybe you would call them. I don't know if that's what you call them, but that's what we're going to call them. Now, the Roosters that I have for both of these sides are based on the strongest side. So the Roosters might not have all of the plays in the squad. Same can be said for the Rabbitohs. I know Josh Mansell wasn't in the squad. It's a bit of a weird one. So apologies if I'm missing a couple of players, but it is what it is. Anyways, we're about to jump onto Rugby League Live 4. But before we do that, I just want to take the time to ask. If you happen to enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and give the video a like first and foremost And also subscribe to the channel if you're new around here We've hit 10,000 subscribers, the next step is 15,000 So definitely go ahead and subscribe if you haven't Also turn on the notification bell, it's super important to actually see these videos Don't rely on the sub boxes, subscribe and use the notification bell, it is super important Also give me a follow on social media, it's on the screen Right now it's Mr. Luke and YT for the most part My Facebook is Mr. Luke but everything else is Mr. Luke and YT So go ahead give me a follow, give me a like Now we got that out of the way, we can jump onto Red League Live 4 Okay, so we're now on Rugby League Live 4. It's the same settings as usual. Seven minute halves. Veteran difficulty. It's at Suncorp Stadium because that's where it's actually played. Still feels weird to have all of the games played at Queensland, but once again, it is what it is. Anyways, like I said, those are the settings. Let's jump into the game itself. So you have it. Roosters up against the Rabbitohs. Like I said, I'm playing as the Roosters side. It's crazy to think of the Roosters side and what it could have been or what it actually is. But the Rabbitohs side is on the screen right now. It's fantastic. It's pretty much full strength. I think Colin Matangi is the only one who is out. And I think on the bench, turns of players who are actually playing in this game who aren't playing in real life. I think Liam Nice the only one and he's 18th man. Uh, Mark Nichols in the starting side. You saw him on the screen there. He is the Rooster side. It's a weird side. Lock and Lamb in the centers. You've got Brad Abbey making his first appearance for the Roosters on the wing. I've seen him at the Bulldogs. I've seen him at the Raiders. He's a decent little player, uh, but he's definitely one of those players who are like Ben Marsh here on the bench. Another one of those guys who probably would be playing NRL elsewhere and yet they find themselves in one of the top teams in the crop. It's absolutely crazy this year for the Roosters. But that's just the Roosters this year and yet they still keep winning. And I still think they're a great chance of beating the Rabbitohs this week. Whether it happens, you're probably watching this after the fact and they probably just got towered up, so it probably sounds stupid, but the Roosters fantastic side in 2021, regardless of the injuries. Adam Reynolds, get the game underway. Let's go, Roosters. Definitely going to be an underdog win if we win this one. Here we go. This is a good start. This is a great start. Crazy that Suwali's injured too. He could have been in this side. So we got Lachlan Lamb in the centers. Obviously, that was Joey Marnie there. Oh, Sam Walker. Take him on. Go, Sammy Walker. Probably hasn't got the pace. Definitely hasn't got the pace. Gets absolutely leveled there by someone. I'm going to try and hit Tedesco here. Okay. Didn't want to do that. Tedesco. Oh, big hit. Mark Nichols drops Tedesco. Getting the semi barrels. Let's launch up a bomb here. This could be risky. This could be risky. We have Hutchison. We've got Hargrave chasing. Latrell's going to beat them for sure. We make the tackle. The one thing that I do need to pay attention for here is just the fitness because our bench is actually, it's quite poor. And I feel like their ratings will be super low. So I need to make sure that I don't concede too many line breaks. We just end up with the ball a lot and we don't burn through our energy and burn through our subs. Because I don't think I can afford to be using some of these players on the bench. I'll be honest with you. There we go. That's good kick pressure. Good kick pressure. And we get the ball. Cameron Murray wrapped up by Sammy Verrills. Oh, it's actually their ball. Oh my god, a six to go. What the hell? Talking about conserving energy and we go ahead and give a six to go on the last tackle. That's not what we wanted. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 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 Go, Tedesco. Thank you. Tedesco on AJ. Big tackle there from Tedesco. Rushing up, Tupino, an important tackle on Damien Cook there. That could have been very dangerous. In fact, it's still going to be dangerous. Get, don't get the kick off. They do get the kick off. Oh, big tackle. Latrell going through. And on his back. Yes, yeah, semi Veril throws him on his back. We survive. Here we go. Joey Manu. Guess who the first player? We have a bit of... No, we don't have support. But Joey Manu gets past. Oh, here we go. Oh, intercept. No. No, that was so promising. I thought we had a bit of space there. Adam Reynolds get the ball here. Pressure from Sammy Walker. That's a charge down. That is a charge down. And they're going to break the tackle. No, they're not breaking the tackle. Thank you. And no six to go call. Brilliant. Oh, not what we wanted, but that's okay. It's Drew Hutchison breaking through the middle there. I'm looking for Tedesco. I'm trying to get Tedesco involved. Here we go, Sam Walker. Little grabber. Little grabber. Can't. That's shit. That's shit. Another offload. No offload. It looked like he was going to offload. 
Oh no, I missed that one. I couldn't change the right play, and then all of a sudden, we're there with him. Take him over the sideline. Take him over. Okay, we don't get close enough. Actually, I'm not going to lie, the bench isn't that bad. It's not as bad as I thought. Fafita is the one who isn't actually playing in real life. There's someone else on the bench, can't remember who, but Fafita was like 18th man, so I've chucked him in. We actually do have a few options there, so maybe I don't need to play as conservative. Maybe I can throw it around a little bit. And pressure on Adam Reynolds there. Okay, that's a decent little challenge. There's, it's going to be uncontested, I would think. Tedesco gets driven back. It's not one contested. Worst part is, we're actually playing fairly decent, yet the Rabbitohs are on top of us at the moment. Hopefully, we can just get an error or something and just, just change the fortune for us. Come on, tackle, tackle him. There we go. Pressure on Hosan. Error by the Rabbitohs. Sort of an error anyways. Fifth tackle was not great from them. Go, 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 go. It's Brad Abbey up to him. Pines off a player. Is Brad Abbey? Is he like 90 rated? He surely he is. Surely, well, surely he's not. Okay, he's 80 rated. I thought for a second, I was like, am I crazy? Is he maybe like 95 rated? One of those sort of custom players or something. But no, he actually is 80 rated. He just palmed off Latreau like it was nothing. Go through the middle. Go through the middle. Isaac Liu. Great run. Palms off a player. Okay, can we take advantage of this? Can we take advantage of this? Probably not. Let's just launch up a bomb here. Let's hope for the best. Drew Hutchison. Drew Hutchison. That's a decent bomb. That's a decent bomb. Come on. Come on. Get to it. Get to it. Why give us the option and not let me compete for it? Now we have at halftime, nil all. Not exactly the score, and I thought it was going to be at halftime. I thought at least either of us would have scored a try, but we've defended well. We just haven't really had too many opportunities with the ball, and when we have, we throw an intercept or something. So hopefully we get some more possession in the second half, and we can take advantage of that. Good tackle. Dave, it was Daniel for feeder. Dave feeder? I was just saying D for feeder, and I think Dave for feeder, but it's obviously not. I have got pretty much all of the reserves on for the Roosters at the moment, so this is a weak inside. Just need to get through the next couple of minutes, and then we can bring on the big guns. Would have killed to have an Angus Crichton or someone in this side, but... Oh, get the ball! Shit play! Just terrible. Oh, my, my God. Oh, my God. All right, we're going to lose. We're going to lose. We're going to lose. Oh, breaks the tackle! Adam Reynolds seriously just broke a tackle as if he was David Fafita. What a ridiculous try to concede. I can understand Adam Reynolds scoring, but not like that. Not like that. Even if it was like Latrell or someone, I could handle that. But not Adam Reynolds. I saw that play going, and then James Tedesco had stepped. I saw the play there. I had Fletcher Baker. He's the one with the headgear. I was trying to stand in the way and just let them throw it into me. When I'm offside, they throw it into me. Oh my god, that is so lucky. And they've gone straight past me. Dang that guy, that is wrong foot me there. How they ended up with the ball in the first place, I have no idea. Such a shit pass. When I did the shit pass, it ended up on the ground. Rabbitohs grabbed the ball. But when they do it, they go ahead and score. To be fair, this game's going probably how the game will go in real life. Roosters competing, but not really able to match it with the Rabbitohs. But who knows, maybe I'll be able to come back. I don't think so, but maybe. Oh my god, just what we wanted. Sam Walker is tired as, and he still has energy to kick it dead. God. And I can't even change it to Tedesco. Oh my god, I hate this game. I actually hate this game. This game's so bad. Why in the hell would your fullback be standing in pretty much the dead ball line? Why would they be doing that? It just stuffs you up so much because you have to run forward to even get into compete with this. Otherwise, you're going to score anyways. We literally went from nil at half time. 14 minutes into the second half and it's 18 nil. And there's a high shot and it doesn't get caught. Oh my god, they just went straight off him. Cameron Murray breaks off a second tackle. Stop, please, tackle him. All right, please get it, please get it, please get it, Toops. Get it, Toops, there we go. He was in the in goal, surely, surely. I literally can't do anything. I can't even get my hands on the ball here. And you just run straight past him. Thank you, Marshke. Just run straight past him and we let him score. They have scored another try. What the fuck is happening? This is actually a very South City Rabbitohs performance. It just went from being nil or all of a sudden 24 nil. 23 in-game minutes on this game. It's probably like 34 sets. I haven't even touched the ball. And they've gone through and put 24 on me. Obviously, we are going to win this one. Hopefully, I can at least score a try to save some embarrassment. That's... Yes, there we go. We get the ball. Thank you. Can we score from here? Maybe Tedesco, maybe someone. No, no, no. Oh my god, no. No. I didn't expect the ball to actually just hit the ground. And I was trying to pass it with the center with Lachlan Lamb. And the ball just hit the ground and it's still through the freaking bar. This game is absolutely terrible. It is terrible. The one time we have the ball and we lose it in the first play. Literally the first play. The Rooster side just literally has no go forward. There is no go forward in this side. And obviously the biggest part of the Rooster side is Tedesco. And on this game, fullback is so ineffective. At least for me anyways. 
Oh, get the ball! Thank you! Thank you! Finally, a little bit of luck! It's taken 76 minutes! Oh, and then... That is a f***ing knock-on! F*** me! Just shows you how terrible this game is, seriously. That's the biggest example of it. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, Equita, take that. I can't believe we just lost 24-0. It was nil at half time. I thought we were a chance of actually winning this game, and all of a sudden, in like two or three sets, it was over. It was done. Actually, you know what? As soon as I kicked it dead, that was done. It was over. Anyways, you can see I'm quite frustrated with Rabbit League Life 4, but you take the good with the bad. That's what happens sometimes. Regardless of my performance, regardless of the game, hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also, make sure to turn the notification bell when you subscribe. Don't rely on these videos hitting the sub boxes. Use the notification bell and get a notification immediately. On your phone, click on the video, leave a like, leave a first comment, do whatever you want to do, just use the notification bell. Also, give me a follow on social media, a lot of you guys have been, I've been noticing the followers go up, but give me a follow on social media, it's on the screen right now, it's Mr. Luke on for the most part. The Facebook is Mr. Luke, but everything else is Mr. Luke on my team. Just go ahead, give me a follow, give me a like, and that's where I'm going to end this one. Sorry I couldn't get the Wind Roosters fans, but the bunnies are just too good. Anyway, stay tuned for more content on the channel, I'll see you in the next one. See yous!